In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to install Windows 7 on VMware Workstation Pro. Before we begin, make sure VMware Workstation is already installed on your computer and you have a Windows 7 ISO file ready. I already have the ISO downloaded, so let's get started. Step 1. Create a new virtual machine. Open VMware Workstation Pro. Click on Create a new virtual machine. Keep the default option, Typical, selected, and click Next. Choose I will install the operating system later, then click Next. Select the guest operating system as Microsoft Windows and choose Windows 7 x 64 as the version. Click Next. Here, you can change the virtual machine name and location if you want. I'll keep the default settings and click Next. If you want to increase the disk size, you can do that here. I'll keep it as default. Click Next. Now, click Finish. Step 2. Configure virtual machine settings. Before powering it on, let's edit some settings. Go to the Memory section and increase the RAM to 4, 6, or 8 GB depending on how much RAM your system has. This will help Windows 7 run smoothly. Next, go to Processors and change the number of processors to 2. Now, go to CD DVD. Select Use ISO Image File and browse to upload the Windows 7 ISO we downloaded earlier. Now go to Network Adapter. The default adapter is NAT, which allows Internet access. That's fine, we will keep it as it is. But we also need a second network adapter for our local virtual lab. So click on Add, select Network Adapter, and choose Custom. VMNet1, Host Only. This adapter will be used for local communication between virtual machines, while NATI will still allow internet access safely. Click Finish, and now you'll see both adapters attached to the virtual machine. Step 3. Start the installation. Click Power on this virtual machine. Windows will start loading files. This may take a moment. Leave the language settings as default and click Next. Click Install Now. Accept the license terms by ticking the box, then click Next. Choose Custom, Advanced. Click Next again to begin the installation. The installation will take some time and the machine may restart several times. Just wait until it finishes. Step 4. Windows Setup. After installation, type a username and click Next. If you want, you can set a password, confirm it, and add a password hint. Then click Next. Skip the product key step. Choose Install Important Updates Only. Click Next and select Public Network. Windows 7 has now been installed successfully. Step 5. Assign a static IP address. Since we selected a custom network adapter, we need to assign a static IP address. Go to Control Panel and click on Network and Internet. Then click Network and Sharing Center. On the left, click Change Adapter Settings. Right-click Local Area Connection 2 and select Properties. Click on Internet Protocol version 4, then click Properties. Select Use the following IP address. Now enter your IP address and subnet mask according to your virtual network plan. Click OK then click Close. Final test. Ping the host machine. Now let's check if the virtual machine is connected to our base computer. Open command prompt inside the virtual machine. Type ping and your base machine IP address and hit Enter. Now see if it is pinging or not. As you can see, it's pinging successfully. That means everything is working perfectly. And that's it. Your Windows 7 virtual machine is now ready to use. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more practical cybersecurity and virtualization labs. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.